Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. So the card for today that came out was raindrops, okay? It may be raining where you are at, but however, I'm also seeing to take a chance on them, okay? So I'm going to read from the book to see what it's about. But before I get started, don't forget you got to flip these roles, right? Make sure you use the spirit of discernment. If it doesn't fit your story, please do not force it. And also hit the like button, thanks button, and subscribe button if you feel in my vibe. The thanks button, I definitely appreciate if you hit that for the donations. Um, and for everyone who has been donating, you guys are awesome. You don't know how much you are supporting me during this time that I'm going through, okay? Um, I definitely feel blessed i am truly truly grateful for the comments um the positive messages for every like and every subscribe okay all across the board you guys are helping me in tremendous ways and you're helping my channel to grow and to expand and you're helping my message to reach the world literally okay um but uh don't forget everyone's on a different timeline okay so even if i'm speaking of something that hasn't happened yet for you doesn't mean and i said that the right way because what i really wanted to say even if i'm speaking on something that doesn't resonate it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen okay um because i do pick up on future energies as well so just pay attention to the hidden jewels that are coming through my messages all right i know y'all tune in just to hear about um, the people you love but however my spirit god is always guiding you through my messages okay so um the card that came out says if anyone has a reason to keep their guard up it's you people have been known to mistreat you and like any rational person you finally got tired of it went back inside locked the door but you weren't supposed to stay out of the rain forever no matter how terrifying the prospect may seem you need to put yourself out there again. Whoever it is you're thinking of, they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm. Wow. All right, so let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guys, for helping me with this collective reading today. Protect us as we go through these spiritual gates. Protect us as we go through our, our days. I thank you so much for closing the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. And thank you for using me as the messenger and speaking through me loud and clearly. And so it is. Who should my collective be taking a chance on? And why? Why should they trust them? Thank you. So, <laughs> a king of swords <laughs> could be an air sign energy, okay? Um, they're coming out in an upright position, so that's a great thing. They could ride a motorcycle, okay? I'm seeing here that they also could be um, a little older. It looks like over the age of 35 is what I'm pulling in, okay? This person has done something that was immoral, right? Something that people can't see or something they're not taking responsibility for. However, it goes here with the king of swords up, right? Next to the chariot, next to the justice in the reverse. This could also be a cancer, all right? Um, I don't like calling out signs, y'all, but y'all love it, okay? <laughs> because this, these signs could literally be any in anywhere, any position of your birth chart. And what I'm seeing here is that I'm going to pull tarot on that, but I feel like this person is determined here, okay, to overcome whatever the challenges are that they are definitely facing here with you, okay? They're being very rational about this um the sticking or trying to stay in their integrity is also what i'm hearing they're very clear in their thinking as well so tell me about the chariot card here i've read on this chariot card So the full card. So they didn't take a chance with you is what I'm hearing. So they didn't take a chance on you. They may have been very negligent. They may have been holding back as well ex on expressing their truth is what I'm hearing. Okay. 
and mm -hmm, the Empress in the reverse, the strength card comes out. And what I feel like here is this person, the injustice that they may have done was either they may have had a child on you, okay? Or they may have got you caught up in a third party situation with someone who is a mother figure, okay? Whether it's their mother or someone they have children by. It's also what I'm seeing with this Empress in the reverse. And this situation here just kind of makes you feel a little insecure. You don't feel stable is what I'm feeling. This is why you won't really, why you haven't really fully trusted them yet, okay? But here with the strength card coming out, um, I'm hearing have confidence, okay? Um, definitely have some type of confidence here because I feel like, this is something that you want, like you want to reconcile or reconnect with this person or you want this person in your life. I hear that you guys may be either were friends with this person or you are friends with this person. And even though you guys did not have a title or relationship, okay, you guys have a very strong bond with each other and they may have been very deceptive um, manipulative, not really fully, you know, living in their truth with you. Okay. So, but what I'm hearing is because they lack the strength or the confidence here. Um, I, I definitely feel like you are a presence to be, <laughs> be reckoned with. Okay. So why has this person not been fully living in their truth here with my collective? And don't forget y'all flip the roles. If this isn't you this is somebody connected to you who was feeling this way so yeah the magician in the reverse they they definitely feel powerless okay um when it comes to manifesting something here with you but I, like again i feel like it's because of their confidence okay or that lack of willpower and they have done something to you literally where you may have walked away from this situation hurt. I mean, this is truthfully like something where you, this is one of these situations where you really can't come back from. But I feel like because who you are, even though you walked away hurt, it's still like this part of you that still allows them to communicate with you, to have um, that connection, right? But it's still something there that's causing you not to fully trust this person, right? R whatever the reason is, maybe you have forgiven them and you've moved on from it, quote unquote, right? But here with the five of um, swords, that's what I'm seeing it as. It's like whatever they did here, I do see two people walking away from this situation hurt. And they don't feel so great about that, okay? At that moment when it was probably happening, I do feel like this person does things, okay, impulsively, and they do it out of ego. And here with the Five of Cups coming in the reverse position here, they definitely want to be able to move on from this situation here without having to um, keep carrying on this same pain from this situation. You know how it's like you want to be able to go forward here and leave that behind, okay? Um, but of course, they're reminded of it every single day, right? Especially if they have connected with someone, all right, um, and they had children by them, okay? So they, they are reminded of it every single day um, of their choices and the mistakes that they have made. And what I'm seeing here with the devil card coming in the reverse position, I see 9-11 also. They're now reclaiming their power. They are now working on releasing themselves from the codependencies, the addictions, the, um, um, the, how can I say it? The greed, thank you, the lust, materialism, whatever it is that this, uh, King of Swords has been prone to in the past, 
okay and the past could be yesterday but this person is going through a transformation is what i'm seeing and they're trying to stand in their ind independence they're trying to feel more in control of their life okay this is a, a person that is literally ending their codependencies you know by working on themselves is what i'm also seeing here they're they're in their integrity at this moment and why does my collective here still what are they still holding on to from this situation here that's causing them not to fully embrace this person okay so here with because the, they're moving too damn slow wow knight of pentacles it's because of the fact that this masculine energy is um they're moving too slow to walk away from those cups eight of cups upright and because of their hesitancy, I don't want to say their hesitancy, but it's something like that because this person doesn't like to take risk, even though they take mad risk, <laughs> you understand? But when it comes down to something dealing with their long term and them feeling safe and stable, this is a part where you may see the stagnation. But this person is working on something here where they're trying to be more they're, they're trying to be focused on creating some type of lifestyle for themselves that is going to be comfortable that's going to be stable that's going to actually lead them to some type of abundance is also what i'm hearing um but yeah they're taking too long to walk away from those cops and and one in particular okay so why is this knight of swords taking so long to walk away from that cop I feel like no, I should be right. Walk away from that cup. The lovers in the reverse, and the four of swords in the reverse. And what I feel like here is there's some type of disharmony or conflict that could be going on. I just seen eleven forty four on my timer. They could even be punishing themselves for um, detaching themselves or or leaving their situation. Is also what I'm seeing. Okay. For some, it may be fear of commitment. And instead of really communicating, you know, what their problems are, they allow their fears to overtake them. They allow the anxiety to, to take root, okay? Um, the four swords came out in a reverse position here, but it's still next to my lover's card in the reverse. So it's a lot of bad decisions that have been made on this person's part. And yeah, they do. They are blaming themselves. It's, a, it's like one of these feelings like this masculine energy is um, punishing themselves, right? You may, you may not be, you know, punishing them by like not dealing with them or not wanting to talk to them or cutting them off or however, but it's still the energy there that's or, or the feelings that or how you respond is also what I'm hearing that shows that you don't fully trust this person. Okay. Um, let me see something here. I want to go back to the page in the book. Come on. I hate when you put your password in your phone and it don't open up right away. It keep telling you wrong password. All right. So, yeah, you have a reason to keep your guard up with this person. Mm hmm it's kind of terrifying for you because you put yourself out there over and over again is what I feel like. They're saying they can be trusted to walk through this storm with you. So hold on. Sorry, y'all. My son needed me. But four swords comes out um, on top of that. So, And what I'm seeing here is I feel like this person takes and they withdraw sometimes. It's like they they. They put you on this pause or they take these moments here where they um it's like they're trying to recover but it almost feels like they're disconnecting from you and I, i'm hearing that doesn't make you feel safe okay it also makes you feel like they're doing something else but what this person is doing is really trying to take a break so that they can recuperate from whatever they're going through here in their situation okay um i feel like this is pretty dope reason why i'm saying that is because it's a lot of things that are unsaid and a lot of questions that you may have for 
this person and you don't say it because it's just like it sounds crazy to keep asking and questioning somebody about what they're doing why they're doing it da, 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 right and it's a lot of stuff that's in between that's missing okay because it's a lack of communication is what i'm hearing that's where a lot of the misunderstanding takes place i don't feel like i feel like you will you would communicate you know if this person was more open with you as well and why is and i'm gonna find out like why is this king of swords not as open and a lot of times what i'm hearing is because they really are confused or or clouded in their judgment okay because i'm hearing that this person did have a lot of trouble with listening to their intuition um or they may still you know struggle with that but let's see here why does this person not communicate fully with my collective <clears throat> take some cards away for this Because what it feels like is that they feel as though no matter what they say, you won't receive it because of what they did wrong. I got the devil in the reverse next to the six of pentacles in the reverse and the justice in the reverse. So yeah, it's like you still will blame them in some kind of way or think that they're being dishonest. Okay. Here with the Three of Pentacles upright and the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. So this masculine energy definitely feels like either way you're not going to trust them. This is why they have a hard time opening up or they don't say a lot that they should be saying. Because I feel like even when they say it, they may feel as though you're not convey they're, they're not conveying it right or you're not receiving the information right. And it ends up still causing some type of disappointment and so this masculine energy literally tries to avoid the conflict okay yeah it's like y'all don't be on the same page here with the three of pentacles like the way i'm seeing it is like instead of y'all being able to come together and and collectively um understand you know what's happening in the situation here there's like this lack of cohesion between you two it's like something definitely dealing with the communication they say one thing you hear another you say one thing they hear another thing okay so i do feel like a lot of it has to do with the emotions that are involved so what does my collective need to do to begin to heal from this or to release this to be able to fully trust this person because i know you know divine is saying it my spirit team is like you can trust this person to walk through this storm with you you may be going through something as well right now you're probably going through some type of storm right now and you're kind of like isolating because you're trying to cope and you may not be fully telling this person everything that you're going through at this moment Okay, here with the Ace of Pentacles coming out next to the Page of Pentacles. And what I'm seeing here is that this is an opportunity literally being presented to you right now. Okay, with this Ace of Pentacles energy. It's like I'm seeing two hands being lifted up, even though, you know, right here with this page, it could be just like just the beginning or just starting or the paid person that you're connected with could be younger than you or you are younger than them however it goes but when it comes to you actually turning um your goals into reality here i feel like this person can definitely help you to be able to manifest them okay as well The only thing is it's like when this masculine tries to come you know get the get the confidence okay to be able to come forward here and to offer you something it's like 
they get set back when they feel like they get set back it's like something happens and it doesn't work and then they lose inspiration or they lose sight of the of the bigger picture so what ends up happening what ends up getting in the way of this and because of their hesitancy that's what makes you hesitant okay but it's like really they try they try and they're trying but it's always something that gets in the way and it doesn't work what is that what is it <laughs> a karmic energy queen of swords in the reverse and the ace of pentacles it's like whoever this person is gets in the way okay and you see how the sword is up it's like uh-uh <laughs> where are you going who you get ready off or something to you mm -mm -mm. or and, and it seems like things take a turn for the worse even that if it's not a person okay they let their emotions get in the way they let their emotions get the best of them and it stops them from being able to to manifest um this connection with you right tell me here about this queen of swords reverse yeah look at that that's matching energy you got two two um karmic partners <laughs> Because it is, they're not each other's. They, it, this shit is toxic. This is some toxic shit right here, okay? If you got... And then they're coming out as a knight. And this is a queen. So this one is more dominant, it seems like, over this masculine energy. Because um, they're extra, extra coming out where they just probably say anything with their mouth is what I'm hearing. Wow. And it's like whenever this person puts up some type of um, fight or they challenge them, it pushes them back into this energy here of being um, defensive. Okay. They may even, they lose their motivation. This is basically that determination to succeed that just goes out the door. Yup. Ten of swords comes out. This should be painful, okay? It is like literally it opens up a wound for this person over and over and over again. And whether it's a person they may have been connected with, like as a lover or someone, um, a friend, a family member, work situation, it's like this situation here becomes, yeah, it, it just... They need to deal with it. They need to deal with the emotion behind this situation. This is where the barrier comes in at. Okay, so why does this Queen of Swords reverse do this? The Moon card comes out in reverse. Because they're pretty sure. They're clear. All right, they already know what this masculine's intentions are. Okay, so tell me about this. Mm -hmm. And they're doing it because they know that this masculine energy is literally going through this transition in their life and they're going to leave them, basically. Six of swords, three of cups in a reverse position next to the seven of cups. So they also know like, all right, this masculine has some other choices here and they're going to pick the healthier choice, right? They're going to leave. So, and they also know that this masculine energy can get in their um that knight of swords reverse energy on them so they know what buttons to push is what i'm hearing and this is how they they stop them from being able to you know want to progress in anything else because of what they experience with that person okay so what is the hold on one second what is this king of swords supposed to be learning from that queen of swords reverse in that situation what are they supposed to be learning to deal with that pain basically ten of swords came out in the reverse position they have to be willing okay to cut that situation off energetically 
because it is a, a, a karmic ribbon is what I'm hearing. It's some type of soul tie. It's not a healthy one. High priestess in the upright position. I'm also seeing here that they have to listen to their intuition, allow their intuition to guide them. This person is king of swords. Could be um, initials could be J or B is also what I'm hearing. And what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in the reverse, it's like they have to show their true selves. I feel like this person wears a mask and they, they don't speak their truth. And instead of them telling and saying what they are in, you know, going to do and how they're going to, you know, it's basically to me about standing in your power basically asserting yourself as the king of sword does and that's the thing that they're missing from that situation but the problem is is because this king of swords has some very deep wounds they won't deal with it and it becomes a trigger for them and of course when it comes to them closing out this cycle and doing what is necessary, they don't come forward. Yep, the moon card comes out. They become fearful, anxious. Their insecurities begin to set in. This stuff is going deep within this Knight of Swords subconscious mind is what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like they may have a lot of trouble in their, their life when it comes to love as well. And trusting their instincts the hermit card comes out in a reverse position so what they end up doing is they end up isolating themselves because of rejection or feeling or um how can i say it rejection or abandonment mm -hmm. three of cups comes out in the upright position here this is why they won't form or have intimate connections in this way Hmm. Wow. And so what I'm hearing is like, this is an aspect of their life that they have to really gain some insight about themselves. It's not necessarily a reflection of you, even though you guys are mirroring back your wounds to each other is what I'm seeing, because this is something also that you may suffer from. Okay, you've experienced a lot of painful endings and rejection is one of those things that um, is a fear for you being rejected by your partner. I feel like you may have been rejected a whole lot and also abandoned is what I'm hearing. It's like you go through these periods of loneliness and it's like forced on you, it almost feels like, okay. And this is something here that reflects those feelings that you may have experienced from your past. All right. Is that, and, and look, it's an opportunity here. You guys offer that opportunity to literally look within your own selves to see where these triggers are coming from. I feel like this is why this person is really placed in your life at this time. Mm hmm. Yep, Knight of Swords upright and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They be coming in quick too. And then bam. Something happens. Whoo, and things seem to not get better. Let's just put it that way. They have to be more determined. Okay, when it comes to the challenges, this Knight of Swords, which is now leveling up to this king of swords i'm hearing they're gonna get to that point okay um they have to be a little bit more determined it's like a little bit more action into into healing thyself is what i'm hearing i feel like this person always is there for everybody else but never really putting back into themselves if that makes sense it's like it's it's like you know how you're always healing or trying to help everybody else even if they're toxic even if they treating you like crap and everybody else just gets the best of you and they don't take the time out to 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 heal themselves 
they carry these burdens. They carry their shields. They carry their swords. You understand? And this is what they're using to protect themselves instead of actually healing themselves from whatever the hurt and pain is that they experience. This is like a wounded healer, like wounded warrior type energy, okay, that this Knight of Swords tends to, to operate in. And so... Again, I feel like you guys are placed on each other's journey just for that. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. You guys are actually there to help each other to evolve. So, yeah, you can trust them. If this person was placed in your life, basically. Yeah. This is definitely a connection that you may have with this person that was divinely ordered, is what I'm hearing. So, um... Let me see something. I want to close out because this reading is about 30 minutes. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but I'm glad that this came out. So, oh, here we go. I'm like, where did it go? Let's just see. Yeah, this person is trustworthy, understanding, and devoted. The Knight of Ariel comes out. And it's so much more that you two have to accomplish together is what I'm seeing here. You are definitely being watched over by someone, a guide, a spirit being, okay, that is helping you guys. The star card comes out. And what I'm seeing here is that this is a dream come true, basically. So believe in yourself. I'm hearing you are the brightest star in the sky shine bright don't allow anything or anyone to dim your light this difficult situation is coming to an end everything that's going on here between you and this person there's a resolution i'm hearing that's coming the universe or the divine is working here to bring balance to your situation your angelic guides are literally behind the scenes Playing a balancing act with your life, okay? 31, 33 on my timer, okay? So just believe in yourself. That knight of Ariel turns into a king. It is, it's in the making, okay? The knight to the king, all right? It's in the making, y'all. I know you like, man, fuck that, right? But you got free will. You can do whatever you want to do, but you are being guided that this person is trustworthy, Okay, this will be successful and stable. Everything is going to work out very well. Okay. All right, y'all. Peace.